Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Land Land Super Floppy Cube. So I literally just got this like five minutes ago and already I can tell that they definitely over lubed it. It's, I can feel it all over the pieces and stuff. Um, if I, I've seen stuff online about it and stuff. If I feel it, yeah, it's definitely way over lubed. Um, anyways, it feels, I don't want to say it feels cheap, but it definitely feels very, um, very fragile. Like, these pieces could pop out really easily, so I don't want to do anything with it, really. I mean, it's definitely not for speed solving. Uh, it turns pretty good. I mean, I don't really have the, I don't have the QJ one to compare it to. Uh, but I don't know. And then these stickers are very, very cheap. I don't know if you can see that, but like just that many moves and they're already starting to peel off a little bit. Like, it's just not very good sticker quality. Probably gonna re-sticker it if I get time like that one is already just horrible. See, it just almost popped right there. But, um, it's pretty easy to solve, I've seen. So I'm just gonna start mixing it up, I guess. And then maybe I'll do a solving camera or something. Okay. I'm not gonna speed solve this because I don't want to break it. What the heck? Oh, okay. I was just really confused for a minute there. Like, a piece was like inside of another piece and I was like, what? Yeah, I'm not a very good speed solver, so don't expect to like world records right here. <laughs> no, not that. There, oh, I just realized I was solving it the wrong way. I'm stupid. Um, well, I need to get it back into the cube shape first. So I guess I can just do that. Will that work? Yeah, really easy to get that well, cube shape. I said cube shape. It's not a cube shape. Um, so pretty much what you do is you get it back into this normal shape. And then you have to try to solve the whole outside part. Which is really easy. Because most of the time you just make turns like this. And see, I already have the whole outside part solved. Um, and then... You just do a couple of algorithms and stuff uh, to like rotate the centers and it's really easy. Uh, yeah, this is really easy to solve, like insanely easy, even easier than like maybe a two by two. Yeah, way easier than a two by two by far. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm about to solve it right here. Yeah, just really, really easy to solve. It definitely feels really um, cheap. I, I don't know if I said that already. But um, I don't know if I recommend this cube. I mean, it's a good one. It's I mean, I don't really know how good floppy cubes are, but I guess it's an okay one. It seems like it could break really easily. That's the one downside to it. Um, you can't really, like, do patterns or anything because it locks up sometimes like that. But, um, other than that, I guess it's okay. And it's not the best made puzzle. Most of the time, Landland Land has other good puzzles. But this one, I don't really know if I would recommend it. But, um, I guess if you're looking for a super floppy cube, this is an okay one to get. So, yeah, that's pretty much it.